Hey, I'm Brian Gary, American Builder. There's a lot of walk-in tubs out there, but there's only one walk-in tub that you want in your house, and that's Boca tubs. I went down to the plant, met the guys, we set up an install together. So the first thing they gotta do is take the old one out. No matter what the situation is, they prep before they get there, so that it's a one-day installation. So what's first? Demo, let's get on it. Okay, so it's me, Paul from Paul's Toolbox, we got Matt from Boca. Just gonna do an install, but before we do an install, we gotta take this out. Right? Pull this puppy out. So let's just walk through the simple steps. We've covered everything that we're gonna walk on, right here. Yep. Pretty much dust proof the whole area. Yeah. Paul, Paul gets in. First thing we do is cut some caulking out all the way around. Yeah, take the, we take the razor knife, run it across the top. You wanna to get to a corner, pull it off a little bit, and once it pulls off, then you run your a blade and you can cut the caulk a lot easier with silicone. It cuts right. a lot easier than just pull it off. Before we go too far and I'm taking these off, you're taking the drain out, we shut the water out through the house. Number one. Let's let's <laughs> let's not cause an accident. So the yeah. the water's off, the simple things, unscrew this, you get a special tool for the drain we're trying mm -hmm. to get underneath here so we can see where the plumbing is. Yep. Step one. Yep. In two seconds, we pull the old tub out. And the only thing we're doing here differently is the drain for the new Boca tub is on this end. This is wood. Typically, like Paul's house, we had to do concrete and chip everything out. I'm just going to cut a line here with the skill saw and pitch that to that side. We're just about done. So far, so good. Yep. Got the plumbing disconnected. Hercules tear up the rest of it all the way around. So we need step. what for the next step? We need our 90s. We need the, the, the fittings here, which you already had the trap, yep. right? Got the tub downstairs. So we're into this whole thing for an hour right now. Yeah, it's nothing. And we're gonna put the tub on this floor now. Let's Do get it. it. That's probably pretty close. I'll see. Right there. It's going to be fine. It's be perfect. There's not a lot to it at this point. We're doing some light plumbing. Remember, you already had a tub there, and we'll put a new one in. We're just configuring this new drain and faucets to your existing plumbing. Not much. It's PVC, copper at best. After the demo, we have the tub set in here, but before we got to that, you, you had to handle something real quick, right? Yep, got the electrician out here, moved the wires over, and put a new outlet on there, and we're done. Ready GFCI to go. protected. Now we're gonna take and hook up our, our water. This is a crimp ring. PEX has all types of different rings. Yep. So you make sure you get the right ones. Take your ring, slip it on your, your PEX tubing. So we're gonna take this and slip it in. Pull it over, you put your tool on it, and you just crimp it. That's it. Now it's all, all done. there, all done. Just that simple. Now on this side, we're going to use shark bites. This PEX tube tubing, when we put it on here with this PVC, is going to put a lot of pressure, so we don't want to do that. What we're going to do is put a 90, pop it in here, okay? And then we're going to shove it down here. Now it can come straight. We can strap it to the wall, and it's not going to be jumping around. We don't have to worry about it. Simple stuff. We'll take this one, and with the shark bite, all you have to do is push it down in there. You can feel it when it locks. And the great thing about shark bite is it swivels, but still stays sealed. Okay, there you go. Double check. We gotta make sure we adjust this drain. Everything's Before we turn the water on, all good to go. You can see we've been walking all over this, and it's still protected. We won't have any, any problems there. We're gonna peel this back. So this can drain, and we're gonna run some water in it. Okay, moment of truth. Fire that thing up. You got it. Checking, Water's on. Checking everything, and if Paul did everything right, then this should be keeping some water. We're good. That's great. Okay, Brian. Next, we want to set the depth on the on the drain plug, so we can Cut fill your, this whole tub yep. up. Mm -hmm. All right. I was just checking to make sure everything's good. Yeah, no this is your waste and overflow. And it's really sharp looking, so you just turn it this way, it's gonna, it's just gonna release. Yep. Boom. You turn it, boom, wow. that's it. 
So the, this is the adjustment. You take and you set your set screw back and you tighten that nut up and it'll stay in position. Then it just drops in there. So tell me about this, we're about to fill it up. Okay, this is a thermostatic adjustment valve. Mm -hmm. Has a safety feature on it. It says it right there, 102 degrees. Mm -hmm. It will not go past that unless you push the pin in. You see, you try to do it, it will not move. Right. Push the pin in, you make your adjustments for your hot and cold. It's always set on that. Once you get the adjustment you like, all you have to do is turn your water on. Contact. Every time it's gonna give you the right mixture. To test it, we're gonna open this up. We filled it up a few inches and we're gonna open it up and let a lot of water drain the pressure. And I'm just down here looking for all the plumbing, make sure it's all set, so go ahead and release it. You ready? Yep. And it's rocking and rolling, baby. We're good. As you can see, we have the old tub in the garage. The new tub's already in place. We got the mechanicals done. We got the water hooked up, the drains ready to go. Now we're putting the custom panels on that they have with this kit. So it's cutting those panels exactly in place with a little bit of caulking. We're almost out of here. Overall, being the expert that you are, how'd it go? This went smooth. I, I like the way y'all have this where it's easily adapted to different environments. They have panels to match things, really worked out well. That's, That's a good easy. point. So like whether it. your opening is too big or too small, it doesn't matter because you doesn't supply matter. all the panels to go with it. So well, yep. That's the difference when you have an American made tub. So it's manufactured here, even a shell. It's not just imported and assembled here. Yeah. And you got high quality materials. It's designed for the space. Right. You actually have the lowest step in on the market. Most installs are going to be two inches or less. Also, the materials we use in a tub is a marine grade fiberglass and gel coat. So that's a step above kitchen and bath. That's actually the same material that you're going to find on the underside of a boat or a yacht. That's what makes it so strong. Yep. And then also it has an internal frame built in. You have one inch of solid steel rod that's going to keep the structural integrity of the tub. So Dominic, tell me more about the warranty. So this is a lifetime warranty on everything on this tub. There's no part that we don't warranty on this tub, from the blower to the seal to the jets to the faucet. Also, this is made right here in Woodstock, Georgia. 17 different people have to touch this tub before it goes out the door. It is truly a handmade custom piece for your home. So there you go. You heard it from the three experts. Go to the website below. We'll see you soon. We will be helping you install a tub wherever he tells us to. Absolutely. Boca tubs. This looks great, I love it, but don't you have a new feature? We do. We have now the Vibes, which is a built-in speaker system inside your tub. Turn it on, man, and you can just rock and out. You rock out to your favorite music, right? Exactly. Did you hear the music? It has the vibe in it. Think about the options that Boca allows you to pick from, between lights and heated seat and aromatherapy, and now music? Come on, go Boca.